Hello, everyone. This is Unlocking Greatness Podcast with Zenja Glass. You're listening to Z. I want to talk today about how we allocate and use our time. And I'm actually going to call this episode 24 Hours. Um, Let's imagine for a second that this jar represents all of the time we have available to us in life. And for those who are simply listening to the podcast, I'm holding up a jar that's filled with these candies. And it's just about filled to the top with all of these rainbow different uh, colored candies in the jar. But let's imagine that, okay, so if this jar represents all of the time available to us, imagine that there's a thief that wants to steal this and take this away from us because he knows that this is all the time that we have left and he wants to take it away. So just imagine that. Then I want you, if you're able to take a look at the the, the table, and, and for those who are, are watching can see this, um, I have about 24 of these candies on the table. And these 24 candies represent, you know, 24 hours in a day. So just follow me for a second with this. There's a passage in the Bible, and let me turn to it really, really quickly. And it's in John 10:10, 10, 10, and you all know this passage. I'm sorry about all this stuff I've got. Oh my goodness, my Bible is just falling apart. But in John 10, 10, uh, there's a passage uh, that talks about, and this is what this is uh, what Jesus said: the thief comes to only the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. So we refer to the enemy, uh, or one of the ways we refer to the enemy is as a thief. And when I, when I read that passage, when I thought about what I wanted to talk about today, and I asked God to just give me wisdom and insight, he reminded me of how carefully um, he's teaching me to guard my time. Because the truth of the matter is we only get 24 hours in a day. And, and check this out. Once that time has passed, once that's gone, that can't go back in the jar. They can't go back in here. So then, you know, we're at another, you know, 24 or so hours, you know, for the next day. Am I right? We can't get that back. And so it dawned on me the way that the thief works. Or some people refer to, you know, this passage when, it, uh, uh, depending on which Bible you have, it might say um, that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But it, it, it dawned on me the way that he works. He knows that he can't take this time away from us, that he actually can't come and steal it, but he can work in our lives to get us to give it away. Think about that for a moment. So we all get these 24 or so hours, right? Right. And let's just say, I don't know, I'm just going to play around with this a little bit because this is, if you only knew my life and how many invitations and things I turned down, uh, and I don't mean invitations as if I'm somebody big. I just mean just from friends and people that just love me and want to hang out all the time. I have to guard my time like you wouldn't believe, and I'm going to get into that in one minute. But so if you can see this, and I'm not sure, um, you know, I have another camera up so you can get a closer shot. You know, we have to spend some time sleeping. You know, I would imagine it should be about eight hours, but, you know, you and I both know we don't always get eight hours of sleep. So for those who are listening to the podcast, I'm separating into putting about eight or so of these rainbow candies to the side. And the way that I believe, at least let me just speak for me, the way that the thief, you know, tries to come in is, wow, you know, sometimes he can have you doing fruitless activities and doing things that have nothing to do with, you know, your purpose in life, nothing to do with, you know, that's going to help you to grow in any way. And just to distract you with that. Sometimes it's social media. You know, I'm not a big social media person, believe it or not. And for those who have been with me for a while, you'll, you'll, you'll know uh, when I did my first couple podcasts, um, how I talked about it. it was so difficult for me to listen to God to do this because I don't really like social media and I I like keeping my stuff private and so lately uh, because the the channels have been growing and the podcast has been growing I found myself on social media even more because you know we have so many different platforms and you know I'm just checking a few things to make sure everyone's taken care of or there's no urgent issue I need to deal with or get to and so sometimes that can be a distraction and I know many people and I won't call out some of my children but I know many people that spend hours and hours and hours a day on social media so let's just say let's just say that you spend about three or four hours in social media and you may be thinking well Z I'm really not into social media myself well whatever it is some people are into watching their I don't know cooking shows or home repair shows or I don't know whatever it is that you do to kind of unwind and chill and do your thing Think about how many hours you actually spend towards that. And I'm not saying that there's something wrong with relaxing and sort of unwinding and just sort of, you know, 
I don't know, just spending some time, uh, I don't know, listening to or watching what you want. But I just want you to follow me for a second. We can spend so much time in, I'll just say, social media or other platforms. uh, And so I'm just going to put that to the side. And then it dawned on me, there are so many distractions that come our way every day, especially in my life. I'd say 80% of them really are not my emergencies and things I really don't have to get as involved in, but some kind of way I find myself getting involved because I'm trying to help. I'm trying to offer my suggestion or I'm trying to take care of this. Now, I'm not confusing that with meeting a need. That's different. I'm talking about distractions uh, that really have little to do with you, but it's taking up your time. Or, you know, maybe you get that email or you get that text message or something that's going to stress you or worry you. So now you're spending time, what I call doing fruitless activities or in fruitless conversations. You know, it could be a friend or someone called you up and they just want to gossip and talk about something. I don't know, something. And, you know, I I just so anyway, if you look at this demonstration, I've got these uh, candies kind of spread about on the table and you notice that there's a gap in the middle. And the reason why I did this like this is because I thought, my goodness, sometimes we can get so wrapped up in all of the things that come at us that there's very little time for God. And even that little six, seven, eight or so hours we put aside for sleep, you know, again, if you're listening to the podcast, I'm sort of separating seven or eight uh, candies to the side. Even in that, the thief comes to steal even that time by not having our minds rest at night when we sleep, perhaps, or having us up stressing and worrying about things that we don't even get eight hours of sleep. We're, we're down to maybe more like four or five hours of sleep. You get my, my point? And then you get up in the morning and you're so drained and you're so tired that you don't have time to really pray and spend that time with God in meditation and getting your day ready. And, and you kind of repeat that same cycle. I've had some people um, who's reached out on the on this podcast um, who are in jobs they just absolutely don't want to be in. Um, and they're in situations where they're like, Z, I don't even want to be here. I don't like what I do, da, 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 da. And then I, I ask myself when I think about that, if you're in that kind of a situation, and I know we have to provide and take care of our families, I want to say that first and foremost. But imagine if even in that extra little time we get when we're doing all of these other distractions or other things, imagine if we spent some of that time. I don't care if it's even just an hour out of our day or two or three hours but or 30 minutes. But imagine if we spent more of that that time sitting in the presence of God and what that can do for us and how God can open doors for us so that perhaps by his grace only uh, he can give us the ideas and the creativity and whatever it is that we're looking to do so we don't have to be at that company or in that situation where we don't want to be in the first place and I want to keep talking on this point there are some people who are in jobs or who are in situations where they pray to get that they know it's a blessing They prayed and cried and and, and begged God for it, and they got it, and it is a blessing, and this is what they want to do, and I know that that defines some of you all, but you're so heavily distracted, you know, from all the things that the thief may try to throw at you to, to throw you off that you've forgotten, oh, yeah, this is what I prayed for. Oh, yeah, this is what I went to school all these years for. I am doing what I really want to do. But sometimes the thief can come along and he can, in my opinion, steal away, try to steal some of that time by having you be more reactive to situations that happen, such as a, you know, a coworker that's maybe treating you some kind of way, or maybe the company is not as great as you thought or what have you. But you get my point? That's how the thief works in our lives. So let me share this with you. Uh, And it's just my personal example I want to share. And I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to do this, but I thought, you know what, maybe I should. Um, I, I, I started to take my phone out, but I won't do that because I was going to show you all some text messages, um, but I think that would probably be inappropriate, so I'll just talk about some of them. I love uh, my family and friends and the few people uh, that are in my life uh, who I know just want to hang out and spend time with me. And I have many, many friends and people that, you know, hey, and I love them, but it's always something going on on the weekends or, you know, through the week. I mean, just name something, name anything, and there's always something going on. If you all can see how God has really trained me now, and I'm not saying I've arrived, I want to make that clear, to respond to some of the requests to get together or to hang out or let's go just go do this, let's just go see a movie, let's go da-da-da. If you can see, you would be amazed 
just the other day, and, and my friend who may be listening to this may smile when she hears me talk about this, she texts me about an event going on Saturday afternoon. Now, you guys know I like to try to spend my Fridays and the better part of my Saturday in meditation, prayer, at the gravesite with my son, um, uh, which I'm still going to do a post on that, um, I think, tomorrow. You just won't believe what happened, but I'll talk about that. Um, and uh, it was something that came out of the blue. And I said to her, uh, appreciate you invite me and I really want to be there but I'm spending this time with God because he's got me working on this book and uh I, I, I've got to just be in his presence and sit with him and, and allow him to do the writing and she responded back because she knows me and she knows kind of where I'm at in life and she's like okay sounds good maybe if you want to you know send a gift by me I can take it for you I've done that so often, and it's not that I'm not getting with anyone. I want to make that clear. But sometimes, at least I used to think that I have to have something going on in order to say no to someone about getting together. And with all of the things that friends and different people have been sending me messages about wanting to get together, I literally have been in the mindset of saying, uh, for the most part, you know, the next month or so I'm really going to be quite booked. Uh, because I'm really spending that time in meditation and prayer. I'm really trying to get myself positioned to where I hear more and more what God is trying to tell me. And it might sound a little harsh to turn down events or activities or certain things, especially when someone loves you and they just want to hang. I've even had a couple of my closest friends come in from out of town. Uh, and, and I kid you not, I'm not making this up. And I love them with all my heart. Some of them I grew up with. Uh, and just a quick, and first of all, they're not too far away. They're like maybe two hours away. But anyway, coming in from out of town real quick. Hey, let's hang for the weekend. Or hey, I'm at such and such. Come give me. Or hey, I'm going to stop by. Let's, let's grab some such and such and do. And I literally have had to say even to them, and they know I love them, that right now I'm spending some time in meditation and prayer, and I've got to just be positioned to hear what God is telling me to do. Now, you don't have to be all fancy-dancy with how you say it. That's just what I say, that right now I'm working on a project. I'm working on something that God has given me, and I just got to be positioned to hear him. So what I'm trying to do, and I don't know, well, you probably can't see my little candies anymore, but I'm holding the jar up. I am being just aware of my time. And that does not mean that those people are not important to me because God knows I love them. And I will get with them and we will have our fun and, and hang out. But I'm trying to hear what God is saying to me. I'm trying to be in a place of silence and listening. And as bad as I want to hang out and, 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 and go do this and go do that and, 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 and hang with my friends and do whatever, this just right now is not the time in my life where it makes sense for me to allocate a lot of time to that. And I pray to God I haven't hurt anyone uh, in that because God knows I love them. Some of them may feel a little something. But for those who truly love me and know who I am and know that, I, I hey, I go through my seasons of where I've just got to spend this time with God, they get it. And they respectfully allow me to have that time. So you may say, Z, where are you going? Here's where I'm going with this. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And don't think for one moment that that does not include the time that we have. He knows that he can't take it away from us, but he can certainly try to be in some way manipulative in our lives for us to give it away. Now, if you're thinking, well, Z, does that mean you're saying because your friends want to get with you that Satan's using them? I'm not saying that. I I'm not saying that. I'm just making a point that right now I am trying to hear from God. And if it takes me two months to sit in my closet to get one word from him, then I'm going to sit every free bit of time I get in my closet for two months or however long it takes till I get just that one word or just that one phrase. Because I have been in situations where he has spoken and said just a word, just a word, and it has changed my life. And right now I know he's got me on a path where he is in that silent place sitting and waiting for me so that he can speak. So I'm just saying, be aware of your time. Do not allow the thief to rob you of living a purpose driven life. Be aware of how you're allocating your time. You don't have to do it the way that I do it. You can get with whoever you want for however long you want. But I can tell you this, if you're trying to do something great, 
If you're trying to listen to what God is trying to tell you to do and, and, and you quite don't know what it is just yet or you're trying or you're on that path and you're trying to figure it out, I just strongly suggest that you spend as much time as you can in his presence. And that may mean turning down a lot of opportunities and situations and gatherings and getting together. First of all, we got to be very careful with that anyway nowadays, but turning down a lot of that so you can spend time with him. We only get 24 hours a day. Be aware of how you're allocating your time, okay? I love you all. I know this is a short message, but I just wanted to encourage you. The thief comes to kill and steal and destroy, and we need to be very aware. He can't take that time away from you, but do not let him trick you into giving it away either, all right? I love you all. This is Z with Unlocking Greatness Podcast. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Thanks for listening. This is Z with Unlocking Greatness Podcast. Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification button. Love you all. Bye-bye.